This is Max Williams with United Real Estate, and today I'm at Rockets Landing. Today I wanted to uh, go over this unique development. I actually did a video um, a couple weeks ago on a townhome that's down here in Rockets Landing. Uh, as you can see, we're right here on the James River. Uh, directly in the middle of the frame is a restaurant called The Boathouse, very, very popular restaurant. Uh, very popular for wedding receptions. We've got a little marina here uh, in front and this walking trail, actually it's a bike trail, actually goes all the way out to Williamsburg. Uh, they finished it I think a couple years ago and it's very very popular with cyclists. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about the neighborhood out here. It's a pretty unique. I uh, wanted to go in a little bit more depth than I did last time. Uh, there's a number of different types of real estate out here in this subdivision. Uh, directly ahead here to the right and to the left, these are townhomes, uh, and they're typically three level. Um, these are all sold, but occasionally one will come up on the market for resale. To the right, uh, some additional townhomes, and um, straight ahead where that walking bridge is, there are actually condos that were converted. They retained the flavor of the building with exposed beams, exposed brick, and just did a really, really nice job in that building. Uh, here on the other side of the street on the corner, those are some really nice condos as well. Uh, they vary tremendously in size, and I believe there's some that are upwards of seven, eight hundred thousand dollars in that building. I originally came to do a video on condos that are at the very far end of your screen. Uh, they're actually coming in about two hundred and ninety-five thousand. There's only about five of them left. They are new construction. Unfortunately, the site agent was a little squeamish about uh, me shooting video, and uh, so I was only able to sh do some stills. I'm going to share those on this video with you. Those are two-bedroom units that have a den, and um, they also have a one-car garage as well. A really neat type of uh, property. Uh, we don't see a lot of uh, townhomes here with garages, but that'll give you that additional space that you probably need. This is the artist's rendering of the condo elevation uh, that I provided the still pictures for. Uh, as you can see, uh, they've got really good judgment here and uh, named this condo uh, accordingly. Uh, the Williams, it couldn't have gotten any better than that and uh, I am truly honored. One of the other great things about a location like this is you have some amenities. I know in the past I've had some People that have asked me about amenities in different uh, locations, I uh, believe here they've got uh, a gym, depending on what building you're in, I, I believe kind of dictates what you have access to. Uh, but you've got plenty of amenities down here uh, that you can take advantage of, uh, especially from the uh, pet standpoint. I know that a lot of apartments and, and condos and townhomes are really becoming pet friendly. Uh, that is one thing that uh, investors and property managers have been cognizant of is that people want to have their pets with them regardless of whether they own or they rent and they have definitely been making an effort to facilitate that. This is one of the cafes that's here uh, in this area and uh, uh, they've got several locations. I popped in uh, a minute ago and uh, the nice lady was actually a film student said I could come in and do a quick little shot. I wanted to show you what's down here because this is just a really neat location and uh, if you live down here you could pop down and simply work and uh, hop on the laptop and enjoy a latte all at the same time. I didn't realize that they actually had wine here in this location. Actually wine and beer. They got a really neat location. I mentioned to you before that Richmond was known for its breweries and I see some uh, selections here that are definitely local brews and um, also some high-end sodas and other healthy beverages.
really neat spot to relax. The Conk Republic is one of the restaurants that's here in Rockets Landing. It is currently closed. It'll be opening up here uh, the first week of February. I think they're doing some repairs. Uh, and this is the Boathouse uh, restaurant. This is a really, really neat location because you've got uh, multiple levels with an absolutely amazing view of the skyline of Richmond. And uh, we are, of course, here on the James River. Um, a lot of people really love being out here if you're into the outdoors. Uh, not only do you have the ability to uh, come out and walk these trails, uh, walk the dog, uh, but if you're a boat owner, or if you don't have a boat, you can of course get a boat and then uh, dock it right here at the marina. So that's a really neat benefit. I did meet uh, a couple that had a Airbnb uh, last year and their Airbnb was actually on the river. Uh, when it came time for brunch, they hopped in on the boat and came down here, docked it, and then came up to the restaurant for brunch. I mentioned in a previous video that Rockets Landing sits right on the border of Richmond and Henrico. And you can see there, there's the city limit marker and here is Rockets Landing. So it actually splits the development. Here to the left, we have, I believe that's a lawyer's office. And on the other side are actual condos. And that those are some of the condos where they left the exposed timbers. Uh, they have exposed brick and just a really, really rustic type look uh, inside and I think uh, a lot of those units uh, are very unique. Um, whenever they do a condo conversion in many cases you could have 15 different units and all 15 have a different floor plan uh, just because they're trying to make the uh, units fit the space. There are, is uh, parking underneath there as well uh, which is super, super convenient for the people that live here. Uh, they don't have to necessarily depend on surface parking. Uh, some of these condos, uh, excuse me, some of the townhomes do have individual garage space as well. So there's no problem with parking out here for the residents and for e even people that come and visit. Uh, this area just underwent a major renovation here. Uh, these roads that you're looking at are new. Uh, they were completely redone. They put in a circle. They put in a a uh, really uh, good bus stop uh, directly ahead. Here we've got the, of course, skyline of Richmond and the river. And I wanted to show you this because directly down this street here, about a quarter of a mile, we have a brewery. Stone Brewery is right down there. Richmond has become known as a brewery destination. Over the past few years, a bunch of brewers have just popped up, uh, both large and small, and uh, it's really putting Richmond on the map in that regard. If you're a beer lover, this definitely may be a place worth consideration. Right here on the river, we have a location that they use for the University of Richmond crew team. And they, uh, I think they're called skulls. Uh, they, they load them and store them right there in that uh, shelter. Of course, the water is right there, so it's nice and convenient. Uh, directly ahead is an old terminal, and there was some discussion a while back about what they were going to do with it. Uh, we actually have a brewery uh, that wanted to convert that into space for their business. Uh, I think they wanted to have a kind of a cafe slash beer tasting uh, facility there. I'm not sure whatever happened to those plans, but um, something eventually is going to happen with that space. Uh, I've got parking here. A lot of people like to fish here along this side of the river and on the other side as well is actually a uh, green space and a lot of people love to go out there spend time. You can actually picnic and uh, fish along the river. This is the map of the Virginia Capitol Trail that I mentioned earlier. It was finished a few years ago and gives a little bit of a recap of what the trail is all about. Also, the Richmond Slave Trail is not far from here. Uh, the slave trail was used to uh, import and export slaves uh, up until 1865. Uh, we actually have people alive today whose grandparents were slaves, so it wasn't that long ago. Uh, here's the map of the actual route. It starts up here in Richmond and goes all the way down to Jamestown Settlement. There's Williamsburg right there, so that's 50 miles uh, of trail and the bikers just absolutely love it. If you come down 
uh, any day you'll see a, a bunch of bikers that'll be uh, loading and unloading their bikes right here and uh, taking that nice long 50 mile trip. Uh, it's also good for joggers and people that just want to take a nice stroll. You don't have to obviously do all 50 miles. Uh, it's a, a great, great jewel that we now have in the Metro Richmond area. For those of you from Richmond, you will definitely recognize this scene. Uh, Richmond just underwent a major multi-zillion dollar upgrade of the bus system. And the bus system included uh, all of these new stops. Uh, as you can see, this is a pretty uh, elaborate uh, map that they have. Uh, one of the challenges that Richmond has had, or Metro Richmond area has had, is that our public transportation has been lacking. Uh, if you are trying to get to the county, uh, public transportation is really, really tough. They are changing that. I covered a condo not long ago where they actually will uh, have a route goes all the way past Shore Putt Mall, which is a uh, Western Henrico. That's pretty unusual. And uh, it was very, very convenient for the people that live or work out there. They can pretty much uh, just catch the bus. And I believe uh, they have an express that goes out there so you don't have to stop every four or five minutes. So uh, kudos to Richmond for bringing this online. Uh, this is our pulse system. I believe the buses are also fueled by natural gas, if I remember correctly. So they're uh, energy efficient and green.